All right, boys, it's that time again. Today was patch day, and one of the big things that they announced was the Tier 10 Doom, along with updates to existing Tier 10 horses. But one thing they added that I think is a very good thing is fail stacks for going for a Tier 10. So previously, it was a flat 3%. And now that we get it, it's 0.2, which doesn't really feel that good either when it fails, but... For the amount of silver you spend, we have gotten our five sensors from the bundle last time. And we're going to do some unicorn attempts because I've been trying to go for that for a while. I watched some of my streamer friends get it already. And maybe I can get another one as well. Our Pegasus needs a friend. With that said, I actually think I have gear on one of them. So I got to hold on. I got to remove that unfortunately give me a second which one has the gear on it uh not that one has to be this one all right so ideally it would be really nice to you know just get a, a tier 10 unicorn so i could play with it and See what it's all about. Mythical Awakening. 3%. We're going to use an OG name that we picked out. All right. We got five attempts. It would be nice if it just goes so I can just buy another Doom Horse and then slam that one. Attempt number one. Let's go. Oh, hold up. Failure. I wish the just box would just stay open so you don't have to do this every time. Attempt number two. Each attempt is like a bill to a bill and a half, by the way, in terms of materials. It just feels so bad. Oh my god. I wouldn't linger it a little bit. Attempt number four. I wonder how many clicks people have saved up over time. All right, last attempt. We went from a 3% to a 4%. Holy. <laughs> All right, that didn't feel too good. If I were to have set, spent silver on that in terms of all the material costs and everything, that probably would have been at least six billion. Does not feel good. But that's okay. Um, let me put the gear back on. Good thing. Is there another piece? Uh, one, two, three, four. Can't all be carried, unfortunately. Let me... S Do I have silver on me? Oh, they changed the layout or the UI. So you can actually do this now as well. And... That's interesting. Uh, we need silver. Do we have any silver on us? Pull it from the bank. Transport him back. Transport this horse back to Sand Grain. Okay, so you know what else we're going to be doing today? 
we are going to be checking out the Termian Park because that's the new event that showed up today. And I kind of want to see what it's all about. I assume it's the same thing just because, like, realistically, I've done this event like six years in a row or something like that. I'm curious to see what it's all about. So one thing I would recommend for all of you guys to do is leave another character there because assuming there's dailies, chances are you don't want to bring your main character there every single day. So let's see. Let me see. Are there any codes today that we can get? Uh, No codes, unfortunately. Okay, so I want to test something as well. I need, I need to be able to jump off a cliff or something. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Do I have to level it up or something? What's the new skill it has? Hmm. Which one is it? Is it Yi? What in the heck? Oh. You know what? We don't need a new Yi. I guess. We don't need a new tier 10 horse. That one's pretty amazing. Oh my god. That leads me to believe this is still Pegasus is still the best tier 10. I've told this story many times of back in the day when there are only two horses, the Pegasus or Unicorn. I wanted to Unicorn more just because I was grinding in the desert and history a lot. And nowadays, like I I can do this. It doesn't feel like it moves too far, but it actually just feels really good. I don't like I'm sure the distance is increased a little bit. But the fact that it just looks like it's flying like that, like you just that looks like it's a lot of distance, but realistically is it? It just saves like a good second, not really that much. But I think I can do this. I think that's what it's meant for, just like being able to jump over large rivers and everything, not just like distance. So, yeah, I think that's cool. I like it. That's really interesting. I'm glad they made the change. So for all of you tier 10 unicorn owners, how much can you run on water now? Is it like more than one island at a time? Just went like through most of Olvia. That's pretty good. Oh my god. I thought like I was about to fly and my game would just crash and just like <laughs> I thought it was gonna happen. He Yeah, we don't need a new tier 10 anymore. We got this one. All right, boys, let's do it. Let's start off the event. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Talk to the Black Spirit and guess where it wants to go. What the heck? Okay, so if I already understand this quest correctly, or the event, there's always some NPC that you trade these. Okay, let's see where the NPC is. 
So every year they always have an NPC that gives you a lot of coins and you turn these coins into various things. So let's see what I think are important. Uh, in theory, you should probably get all of them, but which one should you get first? Um, let's see, the permanent things. Do I have them from last year? Let me see, actually. Noble, Sea Urchin, Transformation Scroll, Fate Priest. Sea Urchin, I have that. Dreaded Scales, I have that. Fate Priest, Aloof Sea Cucumber. Okay, so I have these all from last year. So, basically it transforms you. It's temporary, it's a permanent scroll. You just use it. RP, cool. And then... What else do they give in terms of useful inventory expansion, artisan memories, and a maid? I think the maids are probably the best ones because they have an actual value. Okay. Anyway, help or meet with the Termian Festival Guide. Got it. scene basically i think just showing you all the events that are going on So how many coins do we have? 20? Wait, did we just basically finish the event? <laughs> Hold up. Made for hire. Artisan memory. Inventory. You guys know how I talked about this in previous videos where just like play events and you get free stuff this is literally me doing it also for the record storage maids are worth more in my opinion than transactions transactions just allow you to pull things out of your central market but realistically i do believe that storage is a lot more valuable because um like when you're grinding you get to actually dump more trash loot in your storage and you can't do that to your central market so, being able to grind longer is always nice. We got four out of seven done. The weekly. I don't want that. So, I don't know, but let me check after this. There's, sometimes there's a shop that sells, like, good buffs for grinding, but you have to, like, go out of your way to get it. Clean out stinking otters. I just... Do I have to transform into, like, a Papu to do that? I assume I had to do that. God. How do I have to... Where do I transform? <laughs> There's uh, probably a 0% chance I am going to... Uh... Oh my god. 
There's probably a 0% chance I'm going to do that quest daily. <laughs> but what we are looking for is the NPCs. Because some of them actually... Or at least as of last year, some of them were to actually sell some good items. But I don't know where they would be if they have been returning. Yeah, I don't know if they brought back the NPCs that actually sells the goodies. That's unfortunate. I don't think they really wanted to bring back this event, to be honest. Because <laughs> they even said that in the patch notes. So I wouldn't really be surprised if... Like, they're just like, no, yeah, no buffs this year. Get wrecked. All right, so where do I transform? Transformation scrolls. Uh, from the villager at Termian B. What? The Pawnee Pawnee villager. Which NPC? I'll do this one time if I rem if I know where to find it. And then what are the rewards? 20 coins to get the rest of the festival coins or the scrolls that I don't even need. I'll be honest, I don't even know where it is. Oh, are you it? Okay, let's do it. Insult the Otter Artist. I remember doing that last year. Do you guys remember last year they had this event where people, they had like an auction for like house paintings and dude, people spent so much silver on paintings. Holy, I remember these from last year. The amount people spent on these items for, as an auction. Ooh, I remember trying to bid on it. I spent like, I tried to put a bid on like 25 billion for something and it just was like not even close. I saw people light like 100 bill on fire for a house painting. I was like, okay. Guess you want it more than I do. All right, clean out the otters. Go to the mark location. They had like an RBF for Otters and Papus. God, that was actually one of the worst things I've ever done in this game. Shift W, mouse function 1 to jump. Alright, boys, let's go. Straight up invincibility. Are we winning? <laughs> Where are the enemies? Do we just have like complete domination in this area? Bro, where are the enemies? I think we won. What's the respawn timer? If I can't find them in the next like 30 seconds, we're not doing this quest. Guess we aren't. If 
the otters want an extinct voice. Spawning? Nothing's okay, so. Am I in the right? area okay so it's like oh there they are all right let's do it we're playing league of legends i got it wish my team Got it. Okay. Just hundred percent in an otter. All right. Wait. Only got one. Credit for one. Do I have to get the final kill? To get out of my way. Let's go. Admittedly, this is actually one of the worst things I've ever done. Like, I can't... What is my team doing? Oh god, send help. They're oh boy, they are all focusing me. That is not good. <laughs> they are legit all after me. Holy. Send help. I think I have to get final hit to get credit. All right, just two more. Two more. Let's go. One more. Let's go. We're done. Get me out of this. Shift R. What are these? 70,000 trash loot? Holy. Sells for 70k. That's kind of a lot, actually. These sell for the scrolls. Okay, so Daz of the Sandcastle. Going to be event. Oh, me, I have idea where that is but anyway that was interesting do i want to do that again probably not 
Uh, I'll, I'll do some testing for fishing later and see what happens. But anyway, I think that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you guys come back. And if you're planning on buying any pearls or A coins in the future, use my code John Law. Uh, it's not case sensitive. And if you do, I get a small portion of whatever you spend on whatever package, and I'd appreciate it. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.